I ever wondered why your heart races when that special someone walks into the room? That's called a crush, folks. It's a universal experience that's as old as humanity itself, and it's brimming with emotion and intrigue. Well, turns out there are six stages to this thrilling experience. Intrigued? Stick around. First up, there's the thrill of discovery. Picture this. You're minding your own business when suddenly someone catches your eye. They're like a magnet pulling you in. It's more than just their looks. There's something about them that piques your curiosity. Something that sets your heart racing. It's an intoxicating blend of excitement and intrigue as you realize you're attracted to them. The world seems brighter, more vibrant. Who knew that just noticing someone could send your heart into a frenzy? Next comes the infatuation phase where your crush becomes the star of your daydreams. In this stage, you're consumed by thoughts of your crush. You imagine scenarios where you're together, the conversations you might have, the laughs you might share. It's like you're living in a dream world where everything is perfect and your crushing is the center of your universe. This phase is powerful, filled with intense emotions and unending daydreams. Yes, this is the stage where your friends start to notice your constant daydreaming. Stage three is where things can get a little tricky. It's the jealousy stage. Here, you might find yourself feeling a bit possessive about your crush. Seeing them interact with others could cause a pang of jealousy to stir within you. It's like a green-eyed monster has taken a seat in your heart. But remember, it's only natural to feel this way when you're drawn to someone. It's a part of the process. Remember, it's natural to feel a touch of green, but don't let it consume you. Now, on to the nerve-wracking stage, four and five, confession and potential rejection. The moment of truth where you gather all your courage to express your feelings. It's like standing on a cliff's edge, your heart pounding, the words ready to leap from your lips. Confession is bravery. It's offering up your emotions, vulnerable and raw, without knowing how they'll be received. It's the ultimate leap of faith, driven by the belief that your feelings might be reciprocated. But what if they aren't? What if you're met with rejection instead of acceptance? That's the fear that holds many of us back. Rejection can be a bitter pill to swallow. It's a sting that leaves a mark, reminding us of our unrequited feelings. However, let's remember that rejection is also a part of life. It's a teacher showing us that not every, every risk reaps rewards, and that's okay. It's the pain that pushes us to, to grow, to learn, and to become stronger. Tough as it may be, remember that confession is bravery and rejection is just a part of life. Finally, we reach the last stage, acceptance or a, a new relationship. This phase is a crossroads of sorts. It's where we either come to terms with the fact that our crush may not feel the same way about us, or we embark on the thrilling adventure of a new relationship. Acceptance, while it might sound like a bitter pill to swallow, is actually a powerful tool for personal growth. It's during this time we learn to let go, to accept that not everything is within our control, and to appreciate the beautiful lessons that unrequited love can teach us. On the other hand, if our feelings are reciprocated, we enter the exciting world of a new relationship. 
It's like stepping into a new chapter of a book filled with shared laughter, treasured moments, and the joy of mutual discovery. Regardless of the outcome, every stage of having a crush teaches us something valuable about ourselves. So there you have it, the six stages of having a crush from the thrilling discovery through infatuation and jealousy to confession and the final acceptance or relationship. Remember, crushes are a roller coaster of emotions, but every up and down is a part of the exhilarating ride. 